Hey, LLD, I get to watch a birthday wine show. Yay. Hey, Linus, happy birthday. happy birthday. Being the water cooling nut you are, hmm. what do you think is missing from the water cooling, sp- <laughs> <laughs> water cooling space that you would make to make it easier? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, okay. Uh, this has been attempted time and time and time again. And I think with additive manufacturing, maybe we're finally going to get there pretty soon. But do you remember? Um, do you remember DTEC Unisyncs? Well, there's a. Uh, whoa, is this, is this very old? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can find a picture in this article. Uh, here we go. By the way, lots of feedback in the full plane <laughs> chat about how awful SharePoint is. So sick. Yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll just be going with Google Docs. This after all. is a unisync. Yeah. It's a heat sink designed to go onto your GPU along with a um I mean, uh, this is not gonna be great qual okay, no, we're not gonna be able to zoom that far. <laughs> I'll there we go. Along with a GPU block that handles cooling the, the graphics processing unit itself uh, to handle the RAM and VRMs and all of that good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and go to installation here. So the finished installation should look a little something like this. A block to handle the actual heat generating components and then a big... <coughs> Heatsink fin array that shouldn't need too much airflow over it in order to handle the rest. Now, I think with modern GDDR 6X, and I mean, presumably whatever is coming after that, it may be optimistic to handle those components with basic heat sinks like that. So maybe maybe a future like this will, will, or maybe I shouldn't say a future like this, maybe something like this will never be possible again in the future. But I think it would be absolutely incredible if we could go back to non-PCB specific GPU blocks and just use a standardized block just like we do on CPUs with a hold down plate that you can swap out if you get a new GPU and then just, uh, I don't know, whether it's whether it's like, you know, a company that designs these these unisyncs, these these cooling these aluminum cooling plates, or you know, whether they design them and stock them, or whether they measure everything and then you know they just three D print them out of you know aluminum on demand. I'm not aware of anyone who's doing additive manufacturing with aluminum just yet, but I know you can three D print in some metals, and then you just order one and they basically print it, kind of you know, sand down the bottom so that it's flat and offers a good, you know, mounting mounting surface. And then you, you just get it in the mail or whatever. It should be, it should be theoretically a fraction of the cost of these all copper machines from a giant hunk of metal, uh, single GPU solutions that we have today. Uh, and I, I would love to see that return because it's one of the things that makes water cooling so expensive. A pump, you can carry forward to multiple builds. A reservoir, you can carry forward for multiple builds. I used my last D5 pump for over 10 years before it finally gave up the ghost. And a reservoir, if you maintain it properly, there's no reason that you couldn't use it longer than that, especially if it's a good reservoir that uses O-ring seals rather than just um, gluing together acrylic panels. So CPU block, unless you must have another degree off or two degrees off or whatever, you could still be using a CPU block from 10 years ago. Nothing would prevent that. The one piece that you have to spend $150 on plus every time is a GPU block. So if you could just spend, you know, 70, 80 bucks on one once, and then every generation you spend 20, 30 bucks on a new all-in-one heatsink, I could I could see it being more accessible because it's still a gigantic upfront investment, but at least it's something where you are carrying forward the vast majority of these components as you continue to upgrade your system over the years. So that that's something that I that I think I would change if I could. Apparently there are some rocket and defense companies that are doing aluminum additive manufacturing. Okay. So yeah, maybe we're maybe we're not that far off. That would be super cool. <laughs> 